Hello everyone, welcome back to another speed build. Uh, let me start this off by saying that I uh, made a blunder. <laughs> um, I deleted all of the footage for the first half of this build, um, which is what you're seeing right now is I like demolished the whole build and then um, reversed it, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like, like I, 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 <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I I, del I deleted all the walls and everything and all the floors, and then I re I recorded myself doing that, and then I reversed the footage so it kind of looks like I'm building it, but don't like all the landscaping, all the furnishing is is not weird like this. It's just building the exterior and then putting the exterior walls and the windows and the floor plan got deleted by accident because I'm a dingus. So that's kind of why everything looks a little weird right now. Um, and there's like walls and doors in the background there because I saved the colors so that I wouldn't have to search for them again and blah, blah, blah. Um, and I apologize for that. I am really sorry that I'm stupid and deleted footage again. I did that with one of my Runaway Teen episodes and I and I did it again with build footage because I'm dumb. <laughs> so, and last time you guys were like, oh, oh yeah, all the roofing, all the roofing. is It's going to look really weird, the roofing. Um, yep, it just it just kind of looks like it's poofing out of nowhere. There's no dragging. It's It's just... I'm sorry, it looks so dumb. I'm so mad. And last time I deleted footage, you guys were like, oh, don't beat yourself up. It's okay. YouTubers lose footage all the time. And I was like, yeah, you're right. But still, I'm annoyed at myself. <laughs> like, it just looks so dumb. Like, it, like it, the speed bill was just so much better before I deleted it. I tried my best to, like, give you the full effect. You know, the roofing just looks kind of dumb and some of the coloring, like, I don't know. I really tried my best. I'm sorry, again. But anyway, um, enough of that. Enough of explaining myself. Um... Cool. So, I didn't upload for uh, the entire week leading up to this um, because I've been busy. I pre-recorded as much as I could up until this point, and then it just got to a point where I could not anymore. And I, I'm just really busy. Um, and I, I cut it. I cut out all of the like the putting the borders, not the borders, the trim on all the walls, just because it was boring and you didn't need to see that. Um, I would have cut that out in the regular one too, in the like original build footage that I deleted. Anyway, um, but I've been really busy. Um, I had the dance show on. I told you guys all about that already. If you watch my 100 baby challenge renovation of the house episode, I told you all about my dance show, and I also told you all about my summer job. I'm going to be working at an amusement park um, as a performer. So you know how like Disney has like their rides, but they also have shows. It's not Disney. I'm not working at Disney. I auditioned for Disney and they didn't take me. <laughs> um, but it's okay because I'm working at a smaller, more low-key place and it's cute and fun. And I don't want to tell you where just to keep my anonymity, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so it's my first salary job as a performer, which is a really big deal for me. Um, and it's going to be great. And Right now, finals are coming up, and um, I don't have too, too many, like, finals, like, actual test finals, because I'm a theater major and a creative writing minor. Um, all right, now we're just getting down to the floor plan, um, putting the stairs in. Um, but I have to write a 10 to 15 page paper, research paper, for my romantic lit class. And I'm writing about uh, nature versus nurture in Frankenstein, which is uh, really great. have to have four sources. Um, and a 10 page paper for theater history. I'm writing a paper on Bob Fosse. have to have four books. They are books that weigh more than my dog. <laughs> they are very big books and I hate it. So I have to write all together like 25 pages worth of papers for my final. And I also have a written test final for Romantic Lit. And I also have to perform a Shakespeare scene with my partner for my acting final, which I'm not as worried about, although it's supposed to be off book tomorrow and I'm pretty sure I'm not off book. Off book means memorize for those of you that don't speak theater. So I'm stressed. I'm doing the get thee to a nunnery scene with one of my guy friends. He's obviously Hamlet and I'm Ophelia. Um, and he has to talk more than I do, so that sucks for him. But um, am I off book? No. Um, but we'll see. Um, I'm actually taking a break from my English paper right now. I was just making bulleted lists about all of the things that are wrong with Victor Frankenstein. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you can um, relate. <laughs> Victor Frankenstein is the worst. <laughs> let me know if you relate. Um, but I literally, like, I'm looking at it right now. It's literally three pages long. I mean, it's columns. Like, one half is the creature and one half is Victor because I'm trying to prove that, like, they're both like messed up in their own way. And you guys literally don't care about this. I'm sorry. Um, but so I haven't done the creature yet, but I did three pages worth of a column. So it's like 
three pages, but it's half a page each. You know what I mean? But it's three half pages of things that are wrong with Victor and the way that he was raised because I'm trying to argue that it's all nurture and not nature. And then I have to do everything that's wrong with the creature and how he was raised or lack thereof because Victor is not a responsible parent. And again, nobody cares. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, now I'm to the part of the video where it's, <coughs> excuse me, ow. And to the part of the video, the footage where it's no longer in reverse, this is actually um, real time <laughs> landscaping. I didn't, I didn't lose that footage. Um, again, I'm sorry about that. It looks kind of weird, but, um, I promise that I did build it from scratch. It might look like I'm plagiarizing someone's video of someone's build and just destroyed it and put it in reverse. I did, I did not do that. I promise. I built this from scratch and this is actually the first build I've done where I didn't use a, uh, floor plan of a real house for inspiration. I'll put a picture of the house that I used for inspiration because I used a picture of a house. I didn't use the actual floor plan. Um, so I'll put the picture around here so that you guys can see. I'll put it at the end of the video too for some comparison shots, but just so you see what I'm talking about. Um, I used this picture for reference, but I didn't use the floor plan. I came up with the floor plan and then the layout and everything all, all on my own. I just used the picture kind of for inspiration, but I didn't actually use, I didn't look at a floor plan or anything, which I usually do. And, um, the problem is, though, I was trying to, um, cause when I, when I look at floor plans, I tend to make my houses really big, like really, really big because the proportions between real life floor plans and, um, fake ones in The Sims are like really off. Um, so I decided to do it myself because I don't want to make it too big. And then I feel like I kind of made it too small, which you won't see right now because we're still just doing the landscaping. But once we get to the interior, um, a lot, of, I have a lot of trouble figuring out where to put furniture and everything. And actually the footage that I ended up cutting out, which it's probably for the best that I lost the footage because the, I spent way too long trying to figure out the floor plan, like way too long because it was really, really hard because they were so like, there was just, it was just so hard to figure out where to fit rooms. The house is really tiny and fitting in the furniture is going to be really hard too. But, um, you know... I do my best. We really do our best. Um, but I think the landscaping is just about almost done. I'm really happy with how the landscaping looks. I really like the, um, the like green and pink I've got going. Like I like the green, the green vibes for the, the outside of the house. And, um, I also, also if you see furniture on the inside of the house right now, um, I wanted you to see the landscaping because I kind of wanted to go outside in, but I didn't do the landscaping until the end of the build. So um, my footage is out of order because I'm super professional, but um, just don't mind that. We'll get to the interior in a couple of minutes. Um, but anyway, what I was saying, what was I saying? Oh, I like that the house is, and I don't even like the color green. I don't know if you guys know, but like I don't like the color green at all, um, but I like it for a Victorian style house. I think it fits. And I like pink and green. Like I like green, like with pink accents, you know what I mean? So I really like that. I use like the cherry blossom trees and those pink roses to, um, give the pink some prettiness. And yeah. So now we're getting into the interior of the house. Like I said, I didn't landscape until after I built the build. I kind of just wanted you to, I wanted to show you guys the outside first and then get to the inside. So, um, sorry that everything's out of order. I feel really unprofessional. I didn't really think this through. Um, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, in the screenshots, everything will be cohesive because the build is done when I'm recording this voiceover, obviously. Um, and actually, so you know how I did my last Victorian build and I couldn't put it up for download, but even though I promised I would because I, there was too much CC that doesn't exist anymore. Well, here's the tea is this build is up for download. The link is in my description because I made a CC list. Yay, who's proud of me? I took out most of my mods folder so that I wouldn't be tempted to use a lot of CC because I know that you guys really want to like use my Victorian builds. And I still feel really bad that, um, I couldn't use, I couldn't put the blue Victorian up for download. I, I still get questions like on my Instagram asking me if I'll put that house up for download. And I feel to this, to this day, I still feel really bad saying no. Um, so to make up for that, I'm putting up for download a different Victorian house. 
I will admit it's not as nice and it's not as big as the blue one. So instead of a big blue Victorian, you guys are getting a little green Victorian, but you can actually find all the CC. And I'm not sure, cause my game is kind of borked. I'm not really sure if, I don't know, I've never said borked in my life. I have no idea why I just said that. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Um, but my game is kind of messed up in that when I put stuff up for download, the custom, even if you have it in your game, it doesn't show up with my build. So you might have to like go through this video and like place it where you see it, or you can just straight up furnish it yourself. I mean, honestly, I don't really care what you do with the build as long as you give me credit if you post it anywhere. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I have a list of all the CC. I try to not use like actual custom content. If anything, I use more store content than I actually did custom content but I have the store content linked and the custom content linked and I'm sorry if you don't have any of the store content I used um but I figured it would be easier for you guys to have me use store content than actual custom content just because custom content be kind, can be kind of sketchy um but again I took out my mods folder so I didn't have my like mods custom content I only had my like um sims 3 pack like through the launcher um kind of CC if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, but, um, I'm already running out of things to talk about and we're only on the kitchen. Um, but look, um, it's a kitchen and it's off the dining room and there's an entrance from the dining room and the hallway. And there's a little painting nook in the hallway there. Well, it's not, it's actually not even a hallway. It's kind of just, it's just a little painting nook, which I think is really cute. And this is actually, um, this house is for my, um, Victorian servitude challenge, which, um, I'm hoping that if you're here, you watch that challenge because that's like my, I think that's my, the staple of my channel is the Victorian servitude challenge. I think a lot of people come to my channel to specifically to watch that challenge, um, which is really cool. Um, I really like that series and I came up with it myself. So go check it out if you haven't already. Um, but this house is actually four characters in that story. Um, Peter is the youngest young, well, he's the, the youngest son. He's not the youngest child. There are two girls that are younger than him, but he is the youngest child of the heir of the Victorian servitude challenge. He's not a servant. He is the, one of the, one of the young masters. So he's the, the son of the master of the house. And he recently got married and they moved into this house and they took their, um, his, with him, they took his, um, his sister who is, um, like legally insane, but, um, her their parents kept her locked up in the attic the whole time she was living at home because they didn't want society to know that they had an insane daughter. But Peter was really, really close with her in childhood and in teenagerhood and in adulthood. And they're like the best of friends. And so he, um, he took her away from that life in the attic and um, brought her to this house when he got married. He said, I'm an adult and I want custody of my sister instead. And they said, okay, as long as she's off our hands, like not anticipating that he was going to like, like bring her out into society because now she's not hidden in the attic. There is no attic in this build. It's, um, the attic is the nursery actually. So it's not really an attic, but she's not hidden in the attic. She has her own room. That painting nook, pa that painting nook downstairs is all for her because she's an artistic sim and she gets out her frustrations from her, um, her mental problems, her mental illnesses and, um, learning disabilities and everything. She gets all her frustration out through her painting and it's a really great release for her. And Peter knows that. And so he gave her a painting nook and there's a there's an easel outside on the porch for that reason as well. So she can paint inside and she can paint outside. And it was expected for ladies of that time for them all to be able to paint and draw in some way and like play music. But like Eliana has a gift. Like she's she didn't just do it like to be like part of society. Like she genuinely is a gifted painter. And it's because it comes from her soul. Her painting really comes from a place of real pain because she's been locked up her whole life. And, um, but now she's free because her brother took her away and now they live in this house. And, um, I'm going to start jumping back and forth, um, during gameplay. I'm going to start jumping back and forth between the kids' houses because the kids all moved out and I'm going to start jumping back and forth between the different houses. And we're not going to start with this one. We're going to go in age order. So Henry Jr. is going to be first because he's the oldest son and then Peter and then, uh, you know, so on and so on. Um, so we'll, we haven't, we're not going to get right to the, this house, um, but we will soon. So stay tuned in the Victorian Servitude Challenge to see me use this house in gameplay. And it'll be cool because like, I'll use the house in gameplay and you guys can use the house in gameplay too because it's going to be up for download. Um, I actually have no idea when this video is going up. 
uh, for you guys to see because I still haven't taken the screenshots because I like just finished building it and um, I build in my spare time. Like this kind of is a couple of weeks in the making this, this uh, build because I just take forever to build and um, I think that my channel is more let's plays than it is speed builds so whenever I have time I try to record speed builds instead of I pfft, uh, wrong whenever I have time I try to record my let's plays instead of speed builds because I know that that's like what most of you guys are here for um but whenever I have free time um, and I need to relax building is a very relaxing thing for me it makes me calm which um, we all need when we have anxiety. I just hit the whip and anyone, you know, anxiety with the whip. <laughs> um, but it's a very calming activity and it makes me feel good about myself. It makes me feel like I'm doing something productive even though I'm not. I've talked about this like so many times on my channel, but I like building in The Sims. It makes me feel good about myself there. Um, <laughs> so that's where this came from. And I also just simply needed a house for um, my Sims in the Victorian Servitude Challenge. So there. Um, but anyway, um, look, I'm just adjusting the roof. Some of these things you've already seen because I, I had to, in the beginning, I explained it already. Just, I'm just really stupid, but it's fine. Um, I tried to make the room bigger. It didn't work because I didn't like the, I didn't like the non-double doors there. Um, but yeah, so what we're doing here is putting down some decor and I'm going to start recoloring soon because what I do, um, with the way that I build is I just put down furniture. I just throw furniture down and I don't recolor it. I, I go back and recolor it later. Ooh, that's a very big doll. <laughs> um, but so I just like throw stuff down there and then I go back and recolor it later. And I feel like it gets, it I don't know, I like that for some reason. I like just getting all the furniture down and everything planned out before I spend time recoloring because recoloring takes a long time in The Sims 3 because create a style is really glitchy. So you have to like take your time. Um, but you'll notice all of those paintings that I put on the wall, those are all custom content. But again, I have them all linked. They're all by the same creator and they don't glitch or anything. Again, you might have to place them yourself because my game personally is glitched, but the creator is great. All those paintings look beautiful in game. Um, and yeah, so um, like I said, I don't know when this video is going up because I just finished building it and I, I know that I don't have any Let's Plays recently because um, right now it is April 22nd and again, I don't know when this video is going up because I don't know when I'm going to have time to take screenshots. Um, I just have time to take this, to record this voiceover because I'm taking a break from running a paper. Oh look, I've begun recoloring, yay! Um, I'm taking a break from running a paper. I literally locked myself in my room to write this paper. Um, or to at least start taking notes to write this paper. And I was like, I deserve a break. And I was like, gonna sit down and watch YouTube videos. And I was like, wait, why don't I just record a voiceover for my own video? Because I'm kind of home alone in my room right now. Um, and I'm getting like separation anxiety from people because I don't handle being alone very well. So I was like, you know what? Instead of listening to somebody talk, I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna talk to my friends that are subscribed to me on YouTube. So, hey y'all, <laughs> um, what is good, my dudes? How was your day? Tell me about all of you guys. How are you guys holding up with finals? Cause um, for me, it's rough. Um, Cause like I said, I don't have a lot of like written finals, but writing all these papers and preparing a whole scene is really stressful. Oh, and I also have to perform songs for my voice studio class. But I mean, I've always been like, not to toot my own horn or anything, but music has always come naturally to me. So learning music isn't something that like, like I know my songs already. It's just a matter of performing them. And that's the last thing I have to do. Like I have to, okay, so my theater history paper is due May 1st, which is a week from Wednesday. And then my English paper is due May 3rd, which is also the day of my English final. So they're all like, I have to hand it in the day of the final. And then I get the weekend to relax. And then is my voice final, my voice studio. It's like a cabaret performance. Friends and family can come see us sing. That's on Monday. And then Tuesday is my acting final where I'm doing the Hamlet Ophelia scene and my Imogen monologue and my sonnet because we combine them all together to do like a story combining them because it's more fun that way. Um... So yeah, those curtains are all from the store, the, the Palace of Versailles set. So if you don't have that, I'm sorry, you won't have any fancy curtains. Um, also, uh, Baroque, Versailles, and the Victorian period, not the same thing. But did I use them in this build? Yeah, I did. <laughs> um, if you don't think too much about it, it fits. Right? Right. <sighs> yeah, so I'm busy. Um, 
Believe me, I want to record Let's Plays. I really do. I love my Let's Plays so much, but I am just so swamped with work. Um, and in fact, I shouldn't even be recording this voiceover. I should be continuing to write my paper. I should be writing down all the things that are wrong with the creature and his upbringing. Um, but um, I'm not because I was bored. <sighs> but anyway, um, oh, how was Easter? My Easter was yesterday because it's Monday the 22nd and Easter was Sunday the 21st. Um, but I had to go back to school on Easter because we don't have off the day after Easter. And I live like three hours away from my school, three and a half actually. So um, I had to travel on Easter. So that was not cool. But it's okay because we had our Easter dinner stuff on Saturday instead. My dad, we always do Polish Easter because my dad is half Polish Slavic and half Italian and my mom is full Italian. So I'm like 15-ish percent Polish Slavic. So my, we, have, um, we have Italian food on every other holiday, but Easter is Polish. So we have the kielbasa, we have pierogies, we have sidek. I can't eat the sidek anymore because there's too much milk in it. And my dad had to buy special pierogies that didn't have cheese in them. So that was nice. But I brought home to my apartment. I have six leftover pierogies. That's going to be my dinner. And I have some kielbasa that I'm going to have with spaghetti tomorrow. And that's great. And my dad got me prosciutto, which is Italian. But um, I was just like, hey, dad, I'm craving prosciutto. And so he went to the deli and bought me a whole pound of prosciutto. And I love that. And I love my dad. Um, so I had prosciutto for lunch and I'm going to have pierogies for dinner. Um, but anyway, this... I, we're getting off track here. So I had Easter food, Easter dinner on Saturday. My cousins came over. Um, and my one cousin, like, is a literature buff. We actually talked about Frankenstein and, like, talked about my paper and, like, compared it to Milton's Paradise Lost, which, again, none of you care about. <laughs> I mean, unless you do. Let me know if you've read Frankenstein. Let me know if you've read Paradise Lost. Let me know. I'm also in the middle right now of reading Pride and Prejudice because that's our next book for Romantic Lit. I am... I finished volume one, I'm a couple chapters into volume two, and I love Pride and Prejudice. I actually am Elizabeth Bennet. Like, if you want to know more about me, I am Elizabeth Bennet, and my best friend is, is Jane, her sister. Like, the way they talk to each, like, the way Elizabeth talks to Jane is exactly how I talk to my best friend. Literally this morning, I was like, I am the Lizzie to your Jane. <laughs> So I like that. I'm enjoying Pride and Prejudice. I've actually been reading it with, there's a free audiobook of it. There's a couple on YouTube, but I found one that I like the best. And I've been using that to help me focus because I kind of can't focus on something if I'm just reading it. I kind of need to hear it and read it at the same time. I don't think I'd retain it if I was just listening and not reading. So I couldn't just like play the audiobook in the background while I'm doing something. I need to like read and listen. And it's been working pretty well so far because I got through the whole of volume one over the Easter break. And then I got through a couple of chapters of volume two last night and this morning. So that's cool. Yeah, so over Easter break, I, it was not much of a break, if I'm being completely honest. I had to read volume one of Pride and Prejudice, and I had to do all of the annotated bibliographies for my English paper, and yikes, yikes, yikes. And also, I slept a lot. Oh, but I got a massage. I got my first massage on Friday of Easter break. It was really nice, because I have knots in my back and my neck that I've had for like a year, which I know is like super unhealthy. Um, so I'm trying to get that fixed, and they're still there, like the one massage isn't going to do it like it's not going to get rid of them um but I think I'm gonna see if I can there's a like a YMCA that's affiliated with our school and they have like it's not free but it's more affordable um massage therapy for students of my school so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go and see if they can help me out some more because I carry a lot of tension because I'm always stressed and have anxiety I hit the whip again and um and just being a dancer in general and because I wasn't a dancer my whole life I kind of like started dancing a lot later in life rather than doing it my whole life my body is like not used to it yet so I'm just messed up <laughs> um so any massage therapy would be really great. Um, if you have any tips for your back, I already have one of those like electric shock thingies that you put the stickies on your back and it sends pulses through your back. And I use heating pads all the time. I have a back brace that's flexible enough to dance in. I, I use ice after I'm done dancing. I do all that stuff. But if you have, oh, and I use peppermint oil too, all natural stuff. But if you have any other suggestions, other than massage therapy, let me know. I'm probably still going to go to massage therapy, but just, you know, let's just talk about massage and, and, and back and neck health. <laughs> um, but yeah, so my Easter was good. I still got all of my Easter basket stuff yesterday morning before I left for school again. I got 
Um, my mom checked all the ingredients of all my candy to make sure it didn't have milk in it. Like she was able to find me like dark chocolates that didn't have milk in them. And she like painstakingly read all the ingredients for me. She's the best and I love her. Um, and she got me a denim jacket, which was really cute and a nice top. And yeah, what did y'all get? What did the Easter bunny bring you? And did you enjoy your, your, your Easter food? I sound like a Long Islander. What do you guys eat on Easter? Do you have Polish, Italian food? Do you just have ham? Like, what are your Easter traditions? I think I asked this last year, but you know what? I want to hear it again. What did you guys do this year? Was your Easter good? Did you get any downtime? Because I didn't, <laughs> except for my massage. That was really nice. Um, did you guys get a massage? Have you ever gotten a massage? How was it? Let's talk massages. Let's talk back and neck health. Let's talk Easter. Let's talk Pride and Prejudice. Let's talk Milton's Paradise Lost. Let's talk Frankenstein. Let's just, let's just do, let's just talk about all of it. <laughs> wow, I don't know where that surge of energy came from. I'm getting really thirsty. Um, but this voiceover is going to be over in like two minutes because we're going to jump into the screenshots yet that I haven't taken yet. But I'm going to take them and they will be here at the end of the video along with the picture that I used for inspiration because I'm probably going to forget to put it in the middle of the video like I said I was going to. <coughs> I'm choking. I need water. Hold on. Oh, that was a lot. I just chuggy chugged some water there. I was, whew, my, my throat is parched. Um, Wow. See, now I'm crashing. This is, I shouldn't have recorded a voiceover. I should have just like taken a nap instead of recording a voiceover as my break. Cause now I'm getting tired, but I have to, I really need to do this paper. I also promised my friend that I would stay up all night with her tonight. Um, if, if she didn't get done any of the work that she, like not any, if she didn't get done as much work as she wanted to, I promised her I would stay up with her in the library all night and uh, pull a classic all nighter just to get work done. So I might be staying up all night to finish my paper or maybe to start my theater history paper. Who knows? So uh, wish me luck there. Um, but we are just about coming to the end of the video. Pretty much all I have to do now is to recolor the nursery, which I think ends up looking really cute. I am actually really happy with this house. Like I said, everything's kind of really tiny and kind of crammed, but Peter is the second born. So he wouldn't get the big house moving out. He would get, you know, kind of second fiddle, I guess. But I still think it's cute and elegantly furnished, and it's period, and I think it's really cute. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Um, let me know what you think. Like, just, just leave a comment about essentially anything I've talked about. I've talked about just about everything. And don't forget to check the description for a download link and a CC list on my Tumblr. And um, let me know if you guys play with it. Let me know. Send me screenshots of your Sims and my build. I'd love to see. Um, on my Tumblr, you can post them and tag me. Or on my Instagram, you can post it and tag me. Oh, I'm trying to get more active on Instagram, by the way. And here's the screenshots. This is Simmer Rose. Have a great day, guys.